Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to a, a bit of a do-over on my last forge installation tutorial Now I know there's a lot of forge installation tutorials on YouTube and um, But I've noticed that a lot of them aren't updated or they have bad links or the youtuber kind of made as a one-off video and never got around to it Now for this installation video for all intents and purposes I've went ahead and wiped my entire minecraft directory. You're not gonna have to do this um, This is just to show you guys from a completely clean slate now you're gonna need three things you're gonna need access to your Minecraft directory, you're going to need Forge uh, Universal, which there will be a link for in the description below, and you're going to need some type of RAR archiver. I recommend WinRAR, you can also use 7-Zip, um, I think there's WinZip, there's quite a few of them out there. Now, we're going to go ahead and sign in here really quick, and we're just going to go ahead and download a completely fresh new version of Minecraft. Now, this isn't required, but if you want to be on the safe side, you can always use this method. So now we have a completely fresh version of Minecraft, no texture packs, nothing in here. So we're going to go ahead and close this down now, and we're going to go to our Minecraft directory. Now, I have a shortcut on my desktop, but if you don't, you're going to go down to your taskbar, you're going to click on start, and in the search programs and files, you're going to go ahead and type percentage app data percentage. And now a roaming folder is going to pop up. If there's two of them, don't worry about it. Click the first one that pops up. It's just a glitch. Now you're going to have a bunch of stuff in here. You're going to obviously ignore the rest of this. You're going to go directly to your .minecraft. Then we're going to go straight to our bin, and we're going to click on the Minecraft executable jar file. Now you're going to want to right click on this and open with WinRAR Archiver 7-Zip, WinZip, whatever you have that can open RAR files, this is what you're going to want to use. So we're going to go ahead and open this up here. If you like me and you've been using WinRAR, uh, this WinRAR please purchase a license comes up, but you don't actually have to buy it. It's just kind of their way of telling you, hey, you've been using our product. If you enjoy it, could you please purchase it? So we're going to go ahead and keep this bin open real quick here. And the first thing we're going to do is delete the meta imp file. Yes, we are sure you want to delete it. Completely wipe that. Now, before you open the forge file, I suggest scrolling down and clicking somewhere among the class files. So when you're dragging files from one archive to another, you don't actually put them in some of these folders. Because let's say, for instance, I have the environment folder clicked and I drag files over. It will put those files in the environment folder and cause my uh, game to black screen or crash, etc. So... Now that you have this open, you have the meta inf delete, you're going to open the Minecraft Forge Universal 1.4.7 archive. Now there will be another meta inf in here. Normally you do not need to delete this. Some people do. I know some people do have issues with that. I'm not actually sure what's wrong with that or why that is. Because theoretically it shouldn't have to be deleted for uh, one person but not the other. But if it does not work for you, you do get a black screen. Try deleting that before redoing the entire process. And if that still doesn't work, most likely a folder got mixed up with another one and causing the black screen so you're gonna go ahead and drag these over just like that uh, it'll uh, you know just give you a little uh, information about the arcade name parameters you uh, don't change anything here you just hit ok it'll copy those over you close this down close this down close this down and now we'll go ahead and launch up our minecraft here so let's re-enter our password launch our minecraft it'll set up forge mod loader download a few files from their uh, website Validate it and after a second there you go So you can see minecraft 1.4.7 minecraft forge three mods loaded and you also have this new mod folder uh, Button if you click on this it'll just show you basically this is the code pack uh, Mod loader and forge all to com combined so we'll go ahead and hit done with that now one thing you can do for everybody who's wondering I uh, on my last video I didn't cover how to actually install mods So we're gonna go back to our minecraft shortcut here, and you're gonna see we have a bunch of folders here We have a new folder called core mods and mods now depending on the mod You're gonna need to try to drag it into your core mods or your mod folder But regardless it's as simple as taking the raw archive and dragging it into whichever one it requires It doesn't matter you don't have to unpack it. It's literally a simple just dragging the RAR archive into the mods or core mods folder, closing this down, launching up your Minecraft, and boom, it'll automatically be activated. That's as simple as it is. Uh, some mods will need to be installed into the jar directly, but that's a different story, and that's a different video. So, I hope this helped you guys. Sorry if it's a bit fast. I want to get straight to the point and not uh, dilly-dally around the subject. So, of course, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like, a comment, a favorite. The links to Forge and WinRAR will be in the description below, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe, drop a like, comment a favorite, and if you wait till after the video, you guys can check out some of my mod reviews and other videos. So, take it easy, everybody. Ghost out and GG.